Guys, I've got some bad news for you. It appears that the Sony WH-1000XM6 might not be launching in 2024 after all. And the reason for that is quite simple. Hear me out. Now, as far as the audio space is concerned, Sony usually follows a two-year release schedule for product sequels. And if there is going to be a new product launch, say, between June and August thereabouts, just as it was for the WH-1000XM5, XM4, and the XM3, the FCC filings usually appear at either the end of the year or by February at the latest. But yep, no FCC filing so far for the WH-1000XM6. In fact, the only headphones we see now that is confirmed for a launch in 2024 is YY2981, or otherwise known as the wh ULT 900 and gosh, the Sony naming conventions. Now, about the ULT 900 n this is rumored to be the sequel to the XB 910N, which was launched back in 2021. So it's been kind of like three years since the last version. But with this change of naming convention from XB, which by the way means extra base, to ULT, which I assume can only mean Ultra, Sony might be moving away from the extra base line. But Ultra could also mean Ultra Base, right? So base heads shouldn't be too worried yet. It is LE Audio certified, so it could support future Bluetooth technologies like AuraCast. What's also rumored based on what the Walkman blog has heard is that the ULT900N could look very different from the XB910N. He says that the ear cups are shaped like the WH-1000XM5. The hinge support, or otherwise known as the yoke arm, is similar to the XB910N, and the headband will be flush with the ear cups just like on the XB700. Now, what's interesting is that the ULT900N's noise-cancelling microphone's mesh will look similar to the WF-1000XM5, but it's going to be larger, and it will be the same color as the body, which is either going to be black, grey, or white. So, could Sony be hinting that this could have flagship-level active noise-cancelling, or is it just that I'm thinking too much and it really is just a design choice based on uniformity in the product range? We'll have to see. So while we may not see the WH-1000XM6 in 2024, the ULT900N is already looking like an interesting product based on what little we know. But what we do know is that this new product is going to be launched sometime next month based on its FCC filings short-term confidentiality date of 11 April 2024. In other news, YY2964 has just been listed on the FCC filing. This is rumored to be the Link Buds 2, and according to this filing, its short-term confidentiality date is 12 September. So, it could launch in September or slightly before that 12 September date. That's open to speculation for now, but if there are any more leaks about precise release dates and specs for the Link Buds 2, the ULT900N, or the WH-1000XM6, if it so happens that it is launching this year, I will come back to you with more videos. So get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. I'm also going to post updates on X, so do follow me there and click here for my take on what the WH-1000XM6 could look like in terms of features.